lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. All right, your partner, a person of interest, the Hierophant, the Tower, the King of Swords, Justice card, Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, let's see exactly what's going on with you Scorpios. All right, you may be dealing with Fire Energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Pisces type of energy here. Interesting. What I'm seeing is um, there's almost like a feeling of having to choose, having multiple choices for some of you guys. Um, you may be dealing with a situation that has you a bit confused at the moment. There is not much clarity. I feel that um, you, you could be going through a situation where um, it's really very important to use discernment at the present time. Seven of Cups does speak to me about feeling confused about feelings. Uh, this could be you or this could be the person that you're dealing with where um, there is a desire and a want to, um, you know, connect on a deeper level. But there is certain things and I'm feeling more that it's influence outside interference, outside influence that has uh, almost like there's this confusion around the situation. Um, but I feel that it's someone that may be throwing or wanting to throw you um, throw you on this confusion type of energy. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with an outside uh, interference. It could be a female energy, female um a person that is bringing some type of disruption, some type of confusion in regards to your connection. Um, what they're telling you here is that it's very important to listen to your intuition, Scorpio. Pay very close attention to your intuition. Primarily, I feel that your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors are guiding you through this process of, I want to say process of elimination. It's almost like if you are dealing with a woman that is bringing some type of uh, difficulty in your relationship or in your partnership, um, I feel that it has more to do with them wanting to feed off of your fears. Uh, so it could be, you know, a person that you would consider even a friend um, that you're going to to get some advice, to get some type of clarity. And instead of them giving you a genuine um, advice, I feel that they're giving you you know, comments even um, that trigger more the fears that you're having versus bringing more peace to you. And what they're telling you is pay very close attention to that. It's almost like um, I'm seeing a person that's coming towards you like to try to give you a kiss on the cheek. The moment you turn your back on them, um, they kind of flip the script and they go to who they really are, which is uh, someone that likes drama, that likes to create a lot of a lot of drama now the energy of the partner that you're currently dealing with is the hierophant here with the tower uh and the king of swords so they're seeing the situation as almost like wanting to understand or wanting to see if this relationship could prosper if it could go into you know higher form of commitment with the tower, for some of you guys, those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I feel that the tower moment already happened for you guys where there was some situation, something that came up that completely was drastic and completely changed um, your way of thinking or that challenged uh, your belief or how you view your partner. Um, but with the king of swords here and the justice card, they're telling you, uh, be precautious when making decisions. Uh, pay very, like I said, pay very close attention to your intuition. 
even if there are people around you that are trying to bring drama or that are trying to create some type of distancing between you and your partner um it's it's crucial for you not to be quick or hasty in making decisions or running off of emotions it's very important to use discernment um to be methodical uh even even if you are aware at this present time who this person is interfering um it's almost like if it is a friend, keep them close to you. Pay attention to what they're telling you, uh, how they react to certain to certain situations, you know, to try to figure out where their intentions lie. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, this could be a challenge because I feel heavily for some of you guys, this is a person that you're trusting um, or a person that you, you know, at some point respected their opinion and their advice. Um, but what they're telling you here with the Justice card and the Knight of Swords, there's a decision that's going to need to be made. And sometimes it's necessary to cut off the root of the problem. So again, we all in relationships have difficulties and obstacles that is part of growing, that is part of, um, you know, getting to know each other on a deeper level. Um, but at the same time, if you know, you have people that are advising you or you're taking advice and you feel that they're looking out for you. Are they really? You know, you, that's where you have to pay attention because the moment we allow people, um, the moment we go to friends, to sisters, to cousins, to brothers, and we tell them what's going on in our relationships, often than not, what you're actually doing is you're making them think or allowing them to think that they have a say. So whenever they see that, you know, your partner is not treating you how they would want you to be treated. Um, their advice not necessarily is to the best of the interest of the relationship itself. They're looking out for you. Now, this could be vice versa as well. It could be that they're giving you advice and it's not advice that it's to the best of your interest. It's what best suits them. So what they're telling you here is use discernment. That's going to be very important for the remaining of the month going into uh, September. Try not to make hasty decisions uh, when dealing with your partner, with the person of your interest. Even if you do happen to hear rumors or um, as an example, if you just started dating someone and they're telling you, well, it seems like they're hiding certain things. It seems that uh, they may be committed or they may be in a relationship and that type of energy. And it's almost a feeling of like all, all signs are pointing to maybe they're right still. Don't make irrational decisions because I feel that for some of you guys, there's going to be a revelation of a friend or someone that you consider uh, close to you that is going to truly be revealing their true intentions and feelings for you, not necessarily in a positive way. And that could be basically the person that is creating this, this, this confusion, um, that is creating this instability in the relationship um, at the present time. So again, be smart and be wise, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.